Hello, welcome to section 2, multi-threading and multi-processing. In this section, we will first get to know threads and processes, then some hands-on practices to use threads and processes in Qt. In the first video of this section, an introduction to threads and processes will be given. We are also going to take a look at the differences between a thread and a process. Let's first introduce process. A process is fairly easy to understand. When you start a program, the instance of that program has all the execution code and the states and the resources it currently holds. We call that instance a process. For example, you can check all running processes in your system's task manager. Let's take a real-life example here. When you have your browser and audio player running at the same time, so you can listen to the music while checking messages and the news, the audio player and the browser are running as different processes. And if we take a closer look, some browsers, such as Google Chrome, have multiple processes. Meanwhile, a typical audio player has multiple threads. By definition, a thread is the smallest sequence of instructions that can be managed independently by scheduler. By sequence, it means a thread has beginning and end. In addition to the sequential instructions that a thread includes, but you cannot start a thread without a program. Threads can only be started within a computer program. In the example of an audio player, it has a GUI thread running to keep user interface responsive and respond to user interactions, while another thread working with audio driver to play sound. Threads can only be started within a computer program. In the example of an audio player, it has a GUI thread running to keep user interface responsive and respond to user interactions, while another thread working with audio driver to play sound. Although in some contexts it's also called lightweight process, and a thread is similar to a process in some ways, some significant differences exist between the two. Typically, threads exist inside a process and they share the resources like the memory that is allocated to the process. However, processes are independent, and they don't share those resources. On the other hand, a crash inside a thread leads to the crash of whole process. But a process crashes, other processes are normally not affected. In the meantime, it's much easier to communicate among threads, since they are sharing resources. Meanwhile, the inter-process communication is often limited and trickier. By harnessing multi-threading or multi-processing, which is called parallelization, programmers can utilize modern multi-core and multi-CPU devices more effectively. This can help us reduce processing time and improve responsiveness of the application. What's more important for graphic user interface application is that by separating the UI thread and the logic heavy lifting thread, the user interface can stay responsive rather than getting frozen. In Qt, there are a range of classes provided to help developers to use threads and the processes in their applications. From low level Qt thread to high level Qt concurrent, it's fair to say that the threading is getting easier despite it's a complicated topic.